1848 route and the recommendation made by the Watson Commission, Sir Gerard Creasy, the governor at that time, was authorized by the colonial office to set up a 37-member committee, which was called the Kusi Committee, chaired by Mr. Kusi. The Kusi Committee was commissioned on the 14th of March, 1949. The chairman of the committee, as I said, was Sir Henry Kusi. The committee was tasked to do a constitutional reform for the Gold Coast, that is, to draft a new constitution in line with the recommendation made by the Watson Commission. Now let's talk about the recommendations of the Kusi Committee. The Kusi Committee recommended that there should be an enlarged legislative council. That is, the legislature that existed at that time should be expanded to include more Africans. Secondly, there must be a bicameral legislature. When we talk of the bicameral legislature, we are talking about a legislature that has two chambers so that they can review um, laws that are brought to the chamber or the legislature. Thirdly, they said the executive council must include Ghanaians or Gold Coasters at that time, because at that time the executive council was only made up of British. So in order for fair representation, there should be an existence of the Gold Coasters or Ghanaians in the executive council. Then finally, the voting age was placed at 25 years and above. That is, at that time, if you will be able to vote, you should be at the age of 25 and above, unlike today when it is 18 years and above. Let's look at the questions that followed. We will be back with the conclusion.